go. Hey, oh, keep going, keep going. Just brakes, slow brakes, slow brakes. Well, there's Ashley pulling out right there. She flicked us off. So, a couple hours ago, Ashley went ahead and had her second wipeout on her bike. And uh, I'm losing my sensitivity to the situation because she's done it so many times now. Uh, at least three or four times in the parking lot. And now this is the second time on the road. Now, she's only really ridden on the road twice and both times she has gone off the road and uh, that's pretty disheartening you know she's just having a hard time picking it up getting into the groove of things and uh, you know she's really nervous her confidence isn't getting boosted that's for damn sure falling off that bike every time she gets on the road um, if you guys saw my other video I didn't have any footage of the first time that she uh, went down but I do have footage of the second time um, and yeah I really don't know what to say you know she's having a hard time picking it up and I'm trying to coach her trying to do my best uh, before we went out we spent a couple at least an hour or so practicing in the parking lot again getting her comfortable running the clutch and all that a lot better. That was a lot better. A lot better, dude. Look at how much better you're doing. And uh, so, that, so that was going pretty good. She did drop the bike again in the parking lot, but very, very gently. Like nothing that damaged it. Clutch in, don't hit that curb. Whoa. Um. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, but she had some good practice in and all that. And I was coaching her over our Senna Bluetooth. And before we took off for our ride, I was having the hardest time with it. Like, getting them to connect. And I was getting really frustrated, which put me in a pretty bad mood. And probably didn't help her mood either, because we were both getting really frustrated with those Senna's. Um, you would think buying the top of the line would get you top of the line results, but it just wasn't. They were just not pairing, no matter how hard we tried. So, we finally got them to pair up, and we took off down the road, and I'm coaching her over the Bluetooth, and I have, I gotta say that, like, sometimes when you're moving, you gotta speak up a little bit. And I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the audio in from our ride, but it might sound like I'm talking pretty stern to her. And I just want to say, if, if I do leave the audio in, it's not that I'm mad at her or that I'm trying to be stern with her. It's because I'm trying to speak up so we can hear each other over our bikes. Like, the sound is probably really good on a bike with, like, you know, that's pretty quiet or with stock exhaust or whatever. But with these Harleys, they're pretty loud for, for them. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go in front of that Scion, but he looked like he was going pretty slow. A little breakdown of what happened. So we were traveling a route that we had already traveled once before. Uh, the other time that she went down, we traveled the same route, but the section we were on was not a tough section. She had done it already uh, before. So I was confident that she would be able to, to get through it. And she even went through harder turns. But for whatever reason, she uh, she got up to one of those turns and just got nervous. I don't know what did it to her. You know, there was no mistake in her riding. There was no, mis there was no problem with the bike or the condition of the road. It was just her nerves got the best of her. And she tried to straighten up in the middle of the turn but didn't have enough room to stop 
after straightening up and went into the grass she went in the grass the grass was wet and slippery so the bike slid out from under her and uh, she went right on her ass Where you want to go? Hey, oh, keep going, keep going. Just brakes, slow brakes, slow brakes. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's broken good now. I know. Oh, handlebars are ruined. Well, that's an insurance claim right there. Thanks for stopping, man. Yeah, it's really messed up this time. Yeah. You just, you just... I just got nervous turning. I got nervous in the wings. Yeah. Yeah. If you just stayed on it again, like you did, like I said last time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's better than her jumping off. The last time she jumped off before it stopped moving. And, got, and she hurt herself a little bit. Yeah. Now it's a neutral. All right, where can we put this and come back and get it? <laughs> I'm just curious to think what you guys, see what you guys think in the comments. Uh, should she get back on and ride or should she hang it up? Try and be nice. <laughs> you know, she is a person. She's a real person that might see some of what you say. But I'm not sure what to have her do. You know, I really want to see her ride. I want to see her beat this and get good at this. But, I mean, I'd like to know what people with a little bit more experience like think of it. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe for more and I'll catch everybody in the next one.